that Kelly, thank you. The Comedy Cellar at the Rio brings in some of the best comedians from around the country. And this week we have one of the featured acts, John Joseph, joining us. Thank you for coming in. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we've talked to a lot of the comedians who are a part of this show. The Comedy Cellar is modeled after an infamous uh, comedy club in New York City, right? The Comedy Cellar there? Yeah, it's on McDougal Street in the Village. Great and, club. And have you performed there too? Many times for the last 18 years. And you've also toured with uh, a lot of people. And, and one that hi highlights uh, is Rodney Dangerfield. That was the. What uh, was that like? That was my first break, so to speak. That uh -huh. was a long time ago. You weren't born yet. It was 1988. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was Thank playing. You. I was playing in this club, and he was sitting in the back of the club, and he said, uh, "Hey, kid, all right, where are you playing next week?" And I uh -huh. said, "I'm playing here." He goes, "No, you're not. You're working with me." Really? I said, "This is great." So it opened up a lot of doors, and uh, he used to take a tour bus because he hated flying. Uh huh. And. Uh, I was supposed to work with him for the whole year. On about the 12th gig, we played this club in Wilkes-Barre, a club, a theater in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. I got a standing ovation. I didn't get a standing ovation because they thought I was great. I got a standing ovation because I was done and Rodney was coming on stage. Oh, yeah. But he didn't look at it that way. I got onto the bus and I said, hey, Rodney, what do you think? Standing ovation. He goes, I'll tell you, you're going places because you're not working with me anymore. And that was the last time I worked with him. So. Well, he's able to spot talent. And like you said, it, it led to, you, to what you're doing now. And you're doing a lot of touring, a lot of performing. You're here in Las Vegas. You're also on the radio, right, on Sirius XM. Yeah, every day. Uh, you've been on Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Yeah, Opie and Anthony, Bob and Tom. You and you've been it. in some films too, Paul Blart, the sequel? Yeah, in fact, the last time I was in Vegas was filming Paul Blart at the Wynn. Okay. And that was in uh, 2015. That was a lot of fun. That must have been cool. Yeah, it was great. Kevin's well, a good guy. Uh, talk about the Comedy Cellar and, and the performances here and what it's like to, to be in the rotation with these four other TV headlining comedians. Well, I, hear, I think this is the thing about the Cellar is that every comment that goes on stage is a headliner. Uh -huh. you, people are used to seeing a, an opening act, a middle act, and a headliner, and right. it kind of goes so-so, better, great. But now it's, it's all great. I mean, everybody I'm working with, Greer Barnes, Carmen Lynch, they're all just super talent. Uh, the audience gets five, right? Five as part of the right. rotation? Right. Mark Cohen is the host, and there's Kathy Dunbar, Greer Barnes, Carmen Lynch, myself. And it's just uh, something for everybody. Uh, and how long is your set? About 20 minutes? Everybody does about 20 minutes. And, and do you, that do you like, like that? that? Do you like that style? Well, I'll tell you after tonight. I just got in last night. <laughs> oh, in fact, did? I got here at 2 in the morning. And now you're here. I was in Alaska. And you're performing tonight. Yes. I flew no in sleep. from Juneau, Alaska. Uh, and I haven't slept since 1986 because I have children. <laughs> but that's a different story. That is a different story. Yeah. All right. Catch him at the Comedy Store. Thank you for coming and talking to us. Thanks for having and me. And welcome to Vegas. We have the information right there. And we'll be right back after this.